Welcome to Akisa Studio's tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create a day and night cycle through the use of adjusting our light source in our scene so the shadows change over time, and we'll use Unreal's built-in function in its Sky Sphere Blueprint class to adjust the skybox in relation to the direction of that light source. As you're watching, if you find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that our light source is movable. We want to adjust this through script, and so if it's stationary, we can't do anything with it, so we need to make sure that you've clicked on your light source in your world outliner and then clicked on movable for its mobility. This is the object that adjusts the shadows in the scene, and then the other object that we'll be changing is going to be our sphere, our sky sphere blueprint. This is what's going to change the sky box to match our shadows. Now that we know what we'll be adjusting, we can go ahead and create our class and adjust those things. So create new C++ class. We're going to have it as an actor, and I'm going to call it day night cycle. Go ahead and click create class. So now that our class has built, we can go ahead and open up our solution explorer, go to our source and open up our CPP since only our header opened. Now back in our header, we want to add two includes. So the first one is going to be for our light source. We need to be able to access the directional light. So this is going to be engine slash directional light dot h. And then the other one that we're going to add is going to be for calling the function inside of our sky sphere. So it's going to be include misc slash output device null dot h. And this is needed for an argument in the function that calls the blueprint function inside of the sky sphere. So now that we have the includes that we'll need, we'll go ahead and scroll all the way to the bottom and add our three properties. So the first one's going to be for our sky sphere, so you property. And we want this to be edit anywhere, so that way we can assign it inside of our details panel. And so we can find all of these easier, we're going to give them all a category of sky. The category name doesn't matter, the name's just added to your details panel, so that way you can find all of the things in the same area by a category name that you've specified. And this is going to be an A actor, and I'm just going to call it Sun. The reason it's an A actor is because the parent class of Unreal Sky Sphere is in fact an A actor. So we've created our pointer for the Sky Sphere that we'll assign in our details panel. Now we need to do the same for our directional light. So again, U property edit anywhere, and then category is going to be sky as well, so that way they're together in our details panel. And this one is going to be a directional light, as that's the class type of our light source. And again, a pointer, because we're pointing to the object in the scene, and I'm just going to call it a light source. And now that we have our references to our two objects in the scene, I'm going to create another property that will be the turn rate of these objects, and I'm going to make it edit anywhere so that way you can adjust it in scene so you can more easily figure out the number you're wanting here to fit your game. So again, you property, and this is going to be edit anywhere, and the category again is sky. And this is going to be a float, and I'm just going to call it turn rate. Once you know the turn rate that you're wanting, you don't necessarily have to have it as a U property that can be edited anywhere. You can just have this be a float turn rate. And then inside of your constructor, you can assign the value you've decided on in there. But again, I'm doing this because the number here is going to vary widely depending on how long you want your day to be. And so this just makes it easier for you to change throughout the scene to figure out what number you're wanting. So this is all we're going to do for the header, so we can now go over to our CPP. 
And right here inside your constructor is where if you don't do it as a U property and just want a static number, you can do turn rate equals whatever number you're wanting right here. But all we're gonna be doing inside our CPP is rotating our two objects inside of our tick. So that way they're rotated each frame. And so the first one we're gonna do is our light source as our sky sphere uses the direction of that light source in the function Unreal made, so that way you can determine what the skybox needs to be. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that there is a light source. In other words, we didn't forget to assign it. And this just prevents us from having a null error and the editor crashing. So then we're gonna take our light source and we're going to add actor local rotation. And so you need an F rotator. And we're only going to adjust the roll of our rotator as we want our light source to be rotating around the x-axis. But if you want your light source to be rotating in a different way, you would just adjust that here and set these three values to whatever rotation you're wanting. So again, I'm just doing my roll. So I'm gonna take my delta time and rotate it by my turn rate. And the delta time is how much time has passed since the last frame. And this just makes it to where the rotation is more smooth based off your frame rate. And again, we're just doing roll, so the other two are just going to be zeros. And that handles the rotation of our light source, so now we can go ahead and do it for our sky sphere. I forgot a parentheses. All right. So now we can go ahead and do it for our sky sphere. So again, we just wanna make sure that our sun was in fact assigned inside of our details panel so we don't get a null reference here. And then what we're gonna do inside this if statement is actually call on the function inside of our sky sphere blueprint. And so one of the things this function requires is a f output device null. And so we're gonna go ahead and just create a default of that. So f output device null. And we're just going to call it AR. And then we're going to go ahead and call this function for our son. So we're going to call function by name with arguments. And then the text is going to be the name of the function. The function that is inside of this sky sphere is called update sun direction. And if you're wanting to look at this function, all you do is go back to the scene, go to your world outliner, find your sky sphere blueprint, and then click on edit. And then it'll open up your blueprint window and you can look at what exactly is happening inside of this function that Unreal created for us. And now it wants the arguments. So first is our output device, which we just called RA. And then it wants a executor, which we're just gonna put null. And then the last argument is to force the call whenever there isn't an executor. And we don't have an executor, so we want this to be true. And this is all that we actually have to do to create a day-night cycle in C++. So we're gonna go back to our scene and we're gonna compile. And now that our compile is complete, we can go ahead and drag this into the scene. And then we want to assign our sun, which again was that sky sphere. And then our light source is going to be our light source. And then for the turn rate, I'm just gonna do 15. This is going to be somewhat fast, but I want it to be somewhat fast so that way you can see the change over time and you don't have to sit here and watch for a long time. So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and save my scene and play. And now you can see that the sky is changing color. The shadows are rotating as well. And it's becoming night and we can see the stars. And then over time, it will become day again. And the light source will once again be on us so that way the shadows are gone. So as a recap, we rotated our light source to adjust the shadows. And then we use the sky spheres built in sun direction function to adjust the sky box. So that way we could create a day night cycle. As always, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments or you can join our discord and ask them there. We make videos here every Wednesday and Saturday, but we also stream games on Twitch Tuesday and Friday. We also have a game called Blast Off on the Google Play Store, and we have a Unity asset pack of kids' toys 
On top of that, we have a Patreon, which we've recently updated. So that way, if you become a YouTube supporter, you have access to our C++ code. So if any of those things interest you or you'd like to support us in any of those ways, I will link all of those things in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.